Ah, this is a three-phase breaker box. It's not hooked up, so I'm not going to get shocked. Just want to show you some of the uh, banks inside of how it's wired up. Got phases A, B, and C, and you've got over here the neutral lug. So the way this works, this bus bar here, A, connects up to this breaker, this breaker, and this breaker. The B phase, of course, hooks to B, B, B. The C hot phase here connects up to the C's. So this type of breaker here would use two of the hot phases, so this could be hooked up to 240 volts. These single guys are 120 volt breakers. If you had three tied together here, if this was a three phase breaker, would use A, B, and C, so they commonly trip together. You got the neutral here. And uh, now you can see it. This is typically on a sub panel, it's not tied to ground, it's isolated. It's close to ground, but it's the uh, ground would be another bar that's on here which is actually at ground uh, for green wire ground. This is the white which is the neutral which is close to ground gets pulled off but uh, in a sub panel which this particular is set up uh, you don't tie the neutral and the ground together. Uh, anyways this is a three phase breaker box you've got three big lugs here So the B hooks up to, or here's the A, the A hooks up to this guy, this A, and that A. The B hooks up to this guy, this guy, this guy, and here's the C's. So when you put a breaker in here, he uses a, if all these were hot, on a three-phase system, if you use two in a typical system, you'd get 240 volts on a delta. If it was a uh, Y system, it'd be 120, 208. You'd get uh, 208 across this. But anyways, I just wanted to show how the breakers go in a three-phase box. There's many different configurations, so this is just showing in case somebody wanted to know roughly how something works. Make sure you uh, don't do any of this live and make sure, but if you don't know what you're doing, consult somebody. Else.